Таним жиг дэ та тэрэн гэ чачрах цу вовгид нахтан зэй оны на тэг вовгид нахтан гэ самлу тэг дундаг гэнэй тэр нам бала тэг джухжи гэ царзэр гэ нам жаг тэр нам бала тэг нюхндийс гэ жэд гэн Finally, um, uh, today's uh, the another, other theme uh, is the Tibetan Buddhism and I would like to uh, just present two themes uh, uh, briefly to you as a suggestion uh, two themes uh, touching Tibetan Buddhism. Tangi Lopchatana, Lujung Kurum Chotter Nipajiga, Wogid Nantonla, Tanu Maimbi, Chachus Gutio Chirizena, Kapsha Tonar Dan, the Injectin Naku is going to Tidon Ravachang, Sud, Tenehuidam Kebazgin, Kebati, Kani Chester Shapajan, the Tun Rantok, Tate Yamsalenzi. Soon after the capella, two some gum some zig, two bab gum bab, some baziki, yonje, Yana dariga te, kipson of zansom zid, and a ram kibriker, tene dariga, runga cum should yahazi, the zut dariga, jan of zong shavag, jampangu shavag, jabian zig yonje. There's in the stab gum show some zig yonada, stava dam gum bab shopa zigida, dors rabdina, kibazin is not ran yon. Tarim Kebati Lamde Chida, Tenid, Jenna Pamba Jupio, Tandu, Chi Munitanega, Chi Tansan Slopcha Chimbotan, Tejendana, Chi Sachan Garin Garina, Ta Kashikataka Halitik, Tariga, Keba Chimbotan, Tachin Narana, Yang Rus, Tun Larlinga, Standana, Tejendan of Shia, Rangasan of Kurichirondi, Yang, Chi Kasha Namato Zemana, Tun Tizamzida, Ta Machini, Demogoyan, Nitzer. Mons Gonje. Then Nangatsu did not think Mukatsamaga, Kashton, Zergona, Kanzaka, Momboramba, Jadam and Jamombo Yoreta, Yenayan, Slaksu, Nandunda, then a Tabjacha Gadi on a Tamazatana, then a Kato of Shadno, the Tonto Adana, the Tonto Adano, the Rajana, the Pamba Jupu, Nimu, Slaksu, Nandunzu, Nim Sangio, then in a Chernabatsuina, Kazanteran, Tatari, then a Sharnapke, Tarchenison. Then if shock on the Tenechi Lamnen, the Chargi Lengonina, Jimjik Shirgonina, Hachanda is tap de Bore, then Nabatsu, the Yinda Mangataka, then the Vogin Nantan, Lassu, Nandun Tela, Chetayan, that is Jimjik Shiku, T. Revayan. Through my own experience uh, of studying uh, Tibetan Buddhism, learning Tibetan Buddhism, uh, one of the unique features of Tibetan Buddhism is what Tibetans say. Kapshil Tonlarniwa, which is uh, to practice uh, what one preaches, uh, to implement what one preaches, uh, or to behave in the way that one preaches. Uh, and these are uh, conveyed through what, what Tibetan Buddhism is teaching, is not necessarily just rhetoric, it is something practical. It, it must be something that is implemented. Hence, we will have phrases like tu samagum, which is uh, learning and reflection and meditation, uh, uh, these three aspects of learning Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, and also, we have targum uh, hyulsum, uh, again, view, Buddhist view, and meditation uh, practice, uh, meditative practice, and the hyupa, uh, and the conduct. They're all interrelated. And they're all implemented within this way. And then we will have uh, another phrase called the Krypton um, uh, which is uh, uh, a practitioner uh, must practice, must embrace, must embrace um, uh, Buddhist, uh, Tibetan Buddhism through learning, uh, through disciplinary sanctity, through pro probi probity, uh, that is, and then through the uh, practice of kind heartedness. And these are, uh, so in the, in the West, for instance, in the West, in, 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 the, in the modern sort of uh, academic environment, of course, there are great teachers uh, uh, with, a great, with an amazing erudition uh, and great teachers who teach and who give incredible lectures. However, when it comes to practice, there seems to be an absence, a lack of practice between what one preaches and what one believes and what one practices. And when it comes to Tibetan Buddhism, this is vital. The link between what is taught, what is thought, and what is practiced uh, is absolutely vital. Hence, Kapshil Tunlakhniwa and what 
one must practice what one preaches, and what one preaches must benefit others, must benefit other sentient beings. And this is a unique uh, characteristic of Tibetan Buddhism. Um, and uh, my suggestion is that, uh, my sort of appeal is that uh, all of you uh, are researchers, scholars, uh, and investigating, some of you investigating Tibetan Buddhism and things, and maybe one might need to investigate if this is the case. Tani Tanya Chargi Yonata Jimji Yonazuk say Kirona, the music that is on the Mari, does it get not to bring a man? The second uh, unique feature of Tibetan Buddhism uh, is, uh, but Buddhism practiced by laity or clergy, is uh, to benefit uh, others uh, and to work for the benefit of others. And this is the main objective. And this is the main aim and objective of the monastic, Buddhist monastic education system, which can be traced right back to Nalinda, uh, the great Nalinda University in India, which is regarded as the oldest university in the world. And from Nalinda, the tradition has been trans was transmitted to Tibet, to Sami Monastery, the earliest monastery in Tibet. And from Sami Monastery, it spread to other monastic institutions all over Tibet. So some of us, and some, some people are saying, might be thinking that Tibetan monastic institutions uh, are just there where some shaven head monks just sit inside and do some religious practice. Uh, and it seems to be sort of a, um, um, this, the, the link between society and the monastic institutions are broken. Uh, but this is really not the case. Uh, if you look at uh, the true sort of objective of it, uh, is uh, that to benefit others. <coughs> Gumbazeki, Karsandera Ta 
Chi <coughs> Then the monastic education system, uh, we might think that some people might think that it is just for saying prayers and uh, undertaking pujas and lighting butter lamps. Uh, but this, yes, this is some of the aspects, but it is not, these are not the main aspects uh, of a monastic institution. The main aspect of a monastic institution, the main feature, it is, the main function is that it is an educational environment. Uh, it is an environment, it is an educational environment in which it instills uh, the intention to benefit others, to help others. And this is the basic, the main fundamental aim of the monastic education system. Uh, for instance, in Larangar, also when those of uh, when students and uh, decide, uh, when students uh, finish their learning and go and venture outside, go to other places to teach, uh, the main thing is that not out of self-interest they teach. Uh, they teach, try to teach. Uh, through to so with the intention to help others uh, to or to make other people learn not uh, out of uh, sort of um, out of self interest an interest for material gain or an interest uh, for one's reputation uh, this is not the main intention and for myself uh, I have been a monk and studying and the, in my own Larungar institution for now 30 years. And over these 30 years, uh, one came across, of course, faced hardships in life and uh, came across, encountered all sorts of challenges in life. But that happens, that is what, that's nature, way of life. Uh, but what I was motivated by uh, is, uh, is, the motiv is the intention uh, to benefit others. And so this is, in terms of Tibetan monastic institution, the intention, the motivation to benefit others is of uh, paramount uh, importance. And this applies not only just for monastic institutions. This, of course, applies when it comes to uh, uh, global beings, all over people or human beings all over the uh, world. When I came to the West and everything, is the, the, the intention to benefit uh, benefit other human beings, both uh, mentally and Kanda Kam Chatyana te Niburtu Yud Kupi Girams Gindi, Rangi, Tamkid and Sherabla Tani Te Lamchiriha. Tati Lamchir Shilde, so ju Kana Tignayan and Zamba Chimbu Mashi, Semte Haru Dimurchipoda, Semi and the Guyan, Sopo, Vak Vak Pepa, Tirstavi, Nanda Jujina, uh Ju Tansanguyana Draga, uh Matsegananga Chik Shawa Kanyana, uh Chik Chita Chikranga Ah, ta, ah, 
Tabuji Lastly, for all of us uh, in, the, in the journey of our life, uh, one comes across uh, periods of hardship, one comes across period of happiness. Uh, of course, we all experience this, but to face to to deal with these experiences, especially the challenging phases of one's life, uh, we have uh, certain wisdoms and methods. Uh, and this wisdom, in terms of Tibetan Buddhism, uh, and this wisdom is that to have a relaxed mind, to have an open, easy mind, uh, to be able to embrace challenges in life. Uh, so, to take it easy, maybe that's a translation, translators <laughs> input uh, but we have uh, this um, uh, this wisdom that is gained through what Tibetans call Nyamdin, experiential practice of Dharma and so lastly and finally I would like to uh, and through this sort of method of wisdom that brings relaxation openness uh, and the sort of equilibrium to one's mind so lastly I would like to wish you all uh, a sort of relaxed and a happy uh, mind and body. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Kabul, for that wonderful talk. It was really very inspiring to hear about the process and the duration of your life, which has spanned so many amazing experiences.